Hey, what's up, fellas? How we doing, Matt? Tonight here. Um, today, looking at Griffey Jr. swing. Um, was watching MLB Network, and they were talking a lot about Griffey, kind of looking back at his swing and showing some of the unique things that he does. Obviously, one of the better players to ever play the game. Um, and so, what I want to look at today, and we've talked about this in the past with a bunch of different players, just made some videos on Josh Donaldson talking about it. And this is a move you're going to see with most elite hitters. Most guys that create a high level of bat speed, guys that, um, you know, typically guys that really aren't able to create a lot of bat speed don't have this move in their sling. And what it is is basically this idea of creating tension in the body, storing energy, and then releasing energy. We talk a lot about the elastic band and how you have to pull the band back to store energy. Um, create tension in the band. The further you pull it back, the more energy you can store. When you finally release it, you know, the faster and the further it's going to shoot. And this is the move that you see with Griffey. You see this move with most elite hitters. As they kind of move into the ball and then begin to rotate, you're going to see that they're going to pull back with their upper body. So they're going to create this stretch across their body right here. So again, as Griffey's moving forward, you know, and if we put Put a couple of lines down here. Let's just put a line off his front hip and you know maybe put a little box here around his his hands and we're gonna see as he pulls as he moves forward, see how far he moves forward here, right? So he's moving his body, continuing to move, but you see how his hands pretty much stay in that box the entire time. So he's pulling back with his upper body as he moves forward, creating an amazing amount of stretch here across the body. Again, hands are still in that box. And now when he releases, it's like releasing the rubber band right there. So again, it's pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. I'm resisting as much as I can with my upper body. I'm not going to allow my hands to move forward, I'm not going to. I'm not going to start the swing prematurely and have a swing that's kind of armsy and upper body dominated. I'm trying to pull back as much as I can as I move into the ball. Once I get into the ground, my back leg and it's going to try to turn. My lower body is going to try to begin to rotate, and I'm going to continue to try to pull back as long as I can. And basically, right when this starts to kind of open up for a split second, you know, you just get into the back of your pullback, and then it's like band can't pull back anymore and everything is fired you can see his jersey how much it's stretching right there so again you see this right there you can see how much tension is really created you know and this is one of those things too where this is almost coached out of a lot of younger players because coaches are so worried about an arm bar you know most young players are taught to keep their elbow at a 45 degree um, or I should say 90 degrees um, most players are taught don't go, you know, don't get your arm any straighter than 90 degrees. Um, but when you watch major league plays, you're going to see, you know, that angle is going to be way bigger than 90 degrees for almost every single player. You can't pull back unless you let this arm get a little bit straighter. And so this is actually one of the important things that you have to do. And, and a lot of coaches are trying to limit players from doing it. So don't be afraid to let your player pull back a little bit create some length in that lead arm. It's not a bad thing. It's actually a really good thing. It has to happen. Um, because that's really the only way to really create this tension and store energy like we're talking about um, and create some separation. And again, see here, you can see the lower body is starting to turn, but the hands are still back. And now here comes the bat. So Super important move, one move that you're going to find in pretty much every elite hitter. So some guys do it a little bit more or less than others. Griffey really pulls back here, um, but was able to create an amazing amount of bat speed and you know, obviously be able to hit the ball as far as he did and hit as many home runs as he did. Um, you have to be really, really good, use your body really, really well and, and know how to kind of sequence your swing the right way. And so... Um, let me know if you guys have any questions on this. Hopefully this makes sense to you guys. Again, go back and watch our other videos. We talk about this a lot. I try to show as many elite hitters as possible and kind of show this move and how each one of them uniquely kind of does it. Um, but comment section below again if you've got questions. 
Um, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Share the video with all your friends. Give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Um, also, check out our Instagram page, Angela Baseball, Twitter feed, Madden 79. We're posting videos all the time for you guys. And that's all I got. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.